guys, Gary Bradley. <laughs> hey guys, Gary Bradley. Oh boy, let's see. Still got those sideburns. I'm gonna hear cuts today. Today's the day, guys. So next week you'll see Matt with a fresh haircut. But not, but not the video. Because the video. What? A week behind. Yeah, I know, but for them seeing this video. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. It'll be next week, Matt. Okay. Get it? Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's do this. I'm trying to wake up. I need my coffee. Yeah. that Tim Hortons in us today. Good morning guys, CJR here, back again with... Game Rally. And? Tidy. And? Oh, no Andrew today. Uh, we just got a new puppy. Um, so Andrew volunteered to stay back and, and uh, keep an eye on him. So shout out to Andrew. Thank you once again for joining us. Uh, every Saturday we head out to garage sales looking for all sorts of retro stuff, video games, toys. VHS. VHS, Matt's and looking for. No, 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 we and we. Yeah, that's what Matt's looking for. But yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, we do this every Saturday. We film our pickups as they happen. Uh, so nobody can call us out and say that they didn't. Um, yeah, fantastic pickup last week. If you haven't seen that video, it's not here. It's here when I was editing. Yeah, because last time I pointed here. Always, <laughs> it's here. Uh, feel free to check out our previous videos. Last week was the epic. GameCube score, that was awesome. I had talked to that lady five years prior. As I pulled up, I said to the boys, oh, this is the one that had said she had video games. Walked up to the sale, was right down beside me at 11.30, just sitting there waiting to be picked up. And um, yeah, definitely, I, I would say, I don't know if it's my best ever, but it's definitely top three to five pickups of all time. Um, also, what is it? So that, does that mean it's like six year anniversary of you coming out garage sailing? I think May, Not coming out, but garage sailing? May 21st, 2016. So six years, right? We went back and watched the very first video with Matt was May 28th. May 21st. Well, the video went up May 28th, oh, okay. um, 2016. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to remember where my turn was and I just passed it. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, uh, I got to turn around now. Quick housekeeping. Uh, Matt, what, what did I want to remember again? We don't live in a magic garage sale. Oh yeah, magical garage sale land. So when I get pickups like this, I get a lot of comments of, oh man, you guys, one, you guys are so lucky. And uh, I wish I lived where you guys do. Uh, I'm moving to Canada. We can't, uh, we don't have anything like this in insert city, state, province. Um, yeah, we don't live in magical garage sale land. Uh, our area is no different than yours. If you live in Mott in North America with a similar population, there's about three to 400,000 people in this area. Um, there's no difference uh, as where we are as to where you are. Um, we're just really good at what we do without sound, sounding like a jerk or uh, conceited. Uh, we put in a lot of hard work. With the luck thing, I always say it's 90% skill and effort and 10% luck. And luck comes in, um, you know, case in point last week, 11.30, um, big box of GameCube stuff. The luck comes in between, you know, finding GameCube stuff and, you know, that being Wii stuff. So that's kind of where luck comes in. 90% skill and effort. We started at 6 a.m. today and we'll be going till probably 12 o'clock. So uh, we put in a lot of work. We prep um, so that we can maximize how many sales we hit. We hit about 80 sales on an average day in, in June for sure. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and we're off to the first sale. Cool, what would you want for these? Would you take 10 for him? Sure. Okay. Money man. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Thanks, Teddy. Thanks for bringing those out. I appreciate it. Thanks for the VHS. Yeah, he's happy. <laughs> I had lots of doubles, so I was like, okay, it's time to like, get rid of them. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Okay. Okay, so we're trying something new. I'm gonna be Vanna and Matt's gonna hold the camera. The first video that Matt was ever at 
um, like I said, six years ago, he was filming. I'm like, why don't we just do that? Why don't you just film? Um, so asked if they had the games at the sale. The guy immediately shot me down. And then he asked his wife when she came out and she said, you know, she's, they got all the, whatever. She came out with some games. Um, I got Pack Attack, very dirty. Uh, Double Dragon, Wario's Woods. And we near, both of us nearly had a heart attack here. Uh, this is Bubble Bobble on the NES. Um, 10 bucks for all four. Of course, um, selfish me is just like, wanted to convince her to bring out everything. I maybe should have thrown out like the $100 offer. I should have said, hey, do you have the Nintendo and more games and the Super Nintendo? And then, if, you know, if it gets down to that, I'll throw it a number. I'll say like, you know, I could give you between 50 and 100 bucks and usually that might get them to bring it out, so. Have any older video game stuff, would you? No, unfortunately not. Any DS or anything? What about the Wii system? Are you holding on to? I do have the Wii system. Um, they're boxing it all off. Oh, okay. With Rock Band. Okay. But, uh, I mean, it's one of the things where we're open to selling it, but we're not eager to sell it. Fair enough. Yeah. Put 50 bucks on the whole thing with all the games. <clears throat> Um, it has the box, Rock Band. It has Rock Band. It does not have the box. Controllers, obviously. It has four controllers. And, and it's the white system. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, they're pretty scratched. Oh my god, this room. Some of them are pretty beat up. No. They're in, all of them are in rough shape. Okay, things are getting a little better. Got a pile of Wii stuff. There's tons of great Wii stuff out there this year. These are in terrible condition. I was able to get them. They wanted five bucks each, and I'm like, they're all scratched. I'm like, do you know if they work? They're like, oh yeah, they all work. I'm like, baloney. No way you've tested them. But as I've mentioned several times, I have a disc resurfacing solution that works quite well. So I can bring these all back to life, whether it's just for me to add them to the collection or for me to flip them. Uh, I guess I'll go through. Beastly, don't know what that is, but it seems I definitely don't have it. A beat up copy of Super Mario Bros. Wii. Trixie in Toyland. I don't know, I didn't have it, so I threw it in. Wii Sports, always grab those. Mario Super, Mario Strikers Charged. You know what I notice I do? I just go like this. I bet you people are gonna get annoyed, so I gotta hold it there longer. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy, lots of those this year. Lots of Wii Sports Resorts this year too. Those are great games. We uh, Mario Kart, 20 bucks for that stack. Max will get the next stack, ready to go. And then um, just before that one actually picked up a nice stack of clean games, Wii Sports again. Uh, the Bigs 2, that's a great game. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2, uh, Toy Story Mania, which Matt wanted to buy, mm. Animal Crossing City Folk, Mario Party 8, another Wii Sports Resort, and another Mario Kart Wii. What did I pay for that? 25, right? Yeah, 25. Yeah. 25 bucks. So pretty cool. On to the next one. Okay, so we're heading back to a sale that had a 3DS and games. She found the cases but couldn't find the games. Oh, you did find it. Okay. Our thingy. Okay. Cover on it. Yep. Okay. It's the original. Charger. And then where are the game cases? Because yeah, this is the little one. Yeah. Out. I know. I brought them out. But... Yeah, I did see those. Oh, yeah. they're over there. Oh, no, they're so yeah, all the games are here in this. It's missing the stylus. Oh, okay. I can find one of those. Two, four, six, eight. That's eight. There's nine. No, there's nine. Did you say there was a game in the thing? No, I took it out. It was a uh, monster. All right, so which game's missing then? I don't know. It's definitely one of the 3DS games, unfortunately. I bet you it's Donkey Kong. 
unless donkey oh <laughs> it's sealed <laughs> okay new. okay just came back to this house that said they had a 3ds about three four times they finally found it uh it was an original 3ds offered them 50 bucks for everything she said she wouldn't go that low i didn't really want the original 3ds um but we got the stack of games which matt's gonna hold up remember i said yeah there you go so pretty good stack um sealed donkey kong country returns uh, Mario Kart 7, Scooby-Doo on the DS, Monster High, Scribble Knots Unlimited. Here, I'll try and move with Matt here. Uh, <laughs> what? Stop turning it! So, so Disney Magical World, Super Mario Maker 3DS, Pokemon uh, Moon. Good one there. And Mushi something. Let's oh. see if I can jangle this. Oh! oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This one feels like it's loose anyway. Oh, okay. so. Decent score, 40 bucks for all those. Mm -hmm. Okay, just made a pickup at that sale right there. Just wanted to see how long Matt said he'll be able to open this. <laughs> I don't open it. How do you open this? I thought you said you could open it. I thought I could. I don't want to open it. How do you open it? Can you it open has it? an arrow, Matt. Okay. I don't know. And push them together. I only have one. <laughs> I only have one hand. Okay, so <laughs> nice bundle of uh, loose DS and 3DS games. It just sucks that they're loose because there's some good yeah. stuff in here. There's a couple Pokemon games in here. Um. I thought I saw one Pokemon DS game. Sonic Rush. We got another Pokemon Moon. We just grabbed one. Mm. Uh, drone Tactics, an Atlas title. Wish I had that mm. case for that. So here we go. Little game called Pokemon Black 2. Okay. That one's crazy expensive. But again, ooh, maybe I have a case at home. That'd be nice. Mm. I have a few extra cases at home for Pokemon games. I think games. you have Pokemon Black 2 case in mm. the That'd be cool. Yeah, Leap Beat Agents. It's a, a mixture of, like, here's another uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. Oh, okay. So really good stuff in here. Just no cases, which stinks. Oh. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, Matt's favorite game. Oh. Tell them how many times you own that game. Oh, on the Wii U. Not on the, yeah, on the Wii U. Three times. And how many times did you play it? I played it one time. <laughs> I did play it one time. Uh, also got a Wii. <laughs> no, uh, just the power cord. I have other cords at home. So um, this and all the games for 25 bucks. Yeah. Not a bad deal. Morning. Morning. We're looking for old video game stuff. Old video game stuff. Yeah, like Boy. old uh, Game Boy, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, PlayStation, GameCube. Anything specific? Games, consoles, um, anything really. PS, okay. PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Here. Yeah, they never are. That's why I always <laughs> ask. Um, would you be willing to bring out whatever you have? I'll make you probably make you an offer on everything. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Matt, did you see Castle Grayskull there? What? Where? Walked right past it. Oh, yeah. I just, I just, they re-released it. I got one for the boys. Do you have the systems in there? I'll just take a I look do at this one. Um, do you have the N64 and the Super? Yeah. Okay. What would you want for the games and the two systems? Yeah, some are pretty. Some are for us to play. Some of these don't have cases. Yeah, anytime I buy it, I accept that some might not work, or I know how that goes. Yeah. I know it's there. Ted. Ted, what are you doing? We don't even own a car. <laughs> <laughs> he went to get in that car. <laughs> what, what, can I put these back in the car? 
Well, I'll help you. So, I got it. It's fine. Just wait. Well, I can help you. Well, there's some DS stuff, too. Oh, yeah, okay, Matt. DS okay. Huge score there. Um, pretty sure I got it all on camera. Ended up paying 150. He scoffed at the 100, so I was lucky to get it for 150. But we got a N64, Super Nintendo, PS2 Slim. PS1, um, some third-party N64 controllers, not great, got lots of extras though. This was a nice find, Hogs of War on the PS1, which I don't own, um, but of course, oh look at that, Final Fantasy Tactics hidden under there. Um, I don't own this game, but no manual, that kind of stinks. A uh, whole bunch of N64 games, another stack of SNES games, and some pretty decent uh, PS2 games. Now I will say, these are in various conditions. Um, the stuff look kind of rough. So if I can save, you know, like look at the man, look at the label on this Pokemon Snap <laughs> ruined, you know, so it is what it is. 150 bucks is a great deal though. I guess the best title in here, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That'll get me almost halfway to my money back. So pretty good find there. Hold that. Morning. Good, how are you guys? Ooh. Yeah. Um, we're looking for old video game stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Do you have the game for that little manual there? Would have been a DS game. Yeah, no, it was DS, I think. I think that's gone, though. We're looking for like old Nintendos, Game Boys, yeah, we don't have any Sega, of that. PlayStation. I think I already sold the, the DS or I gave it to me. We don't have it here. <laughs> okay. Wherever well, it is, it's not here. What do you want for that book? For the book? I think it was 50 cents. Okay. I don't know if she has that. Any. There's some more movies here. There's more movies. Okay, pretty cool pick up there. I picked up this Tamiya Mighty Bolt. It's in really good condition. It's a little bit underrated. It's just really dirty. Um, with an official Tamiya radio. I'm not sure if this is vintage or a newer one. He said it came pre-built. And then also this Traxxas Slash. Almost like brand new condition. Um, paid 75 for both. That's a fantastic deal. Uh, pretty pumped about that. I just mentioned that we were in RC and he brought these out. Didn't think I'd be interested in this, but this is... That's a nice find, Tamiya. And then this guy hasn't even been used. That's freaking awesome. Um, Pokemon Black and White Strategy Guide. 50 cents for that. 75 for these two, fantastic deal. This guy retails for 230 Canadian-ish. More, 250. Great deal, mint condition. Okay, quick pickup. Picked up this really nice condition. Nintendogs, uh, DS Lite comes, well not complete, but it has the stylus. Um, really nice, hinges good, super clean, uh, no charger, but it come, came with Kirby Mass Attack. Man, we're really, so many loose games, so many loose DS and 3DS games this year, kind of sucks. I mean, it's great to find a game with it, but that would have been a nice one to have in the case for sure, because that's kind of uncommon, so. Um, 15 bucks, not bad. Okay guys, it's now 9 a.m. and we are leaving that town-wide sale. So once again, we picked the perfect location. You know, it's really hit or miss. If you, because we're driving a half hour, 40 minutes away from where we live to go garage sailing, if we make the wrong choice, it could bite us in the butt and we could miss out on 40 minutes of garage sailing in prime time. If we had gone there and there was only five sales, it would have been trouble. I think we safely hit 40 to 50 sales, uh, probably before 8.30. Uh, just made that final score at the last sale we hit with the RC cars. That's actually quite a good deal. The more I think about it, probably easily five, six hundred dollars value there, Canadian. Um, so for seventy-five bucks, pretty darn happy about that. Um, so yeah, we're headed back to. I thought that was a cop. Uh, for those of you wondering, I drive. I'm resting my hand and the phone on the wheel. Um, may seem unsafe to you, but it's totally fine to me. You're right in my vision line. I can look right past the camera and at the road, and I got my other hand mostly on the wheel. Uh, so we're good. Uh, yeah, we're headed back to Kitchener. Fantastic deal there. Uh, we No competition whatsoever. We had the whole place to ourselves. Uh, rolled up, not a single person said that we were already looking for games. 
Um, there's been a whole bunch of town-wide garage sales. Uh, today there's a whole bunch actually. So I have a feeling that people are gonna be pretty spread out today. Sometimes when there's only a few, it draws everybody to that sale. So today there was enough sales that most likely we're not gonna hit any competition all day. And most likely we're gonna head back to our city and no one's gonna be hitting it because they're out at some other town-wide sale. So should be able to hit plenty more garage sales back in our, in our city, hopefully. Anything to say? You wanna show your movies you got? These, these, I got a lot of movies, but these are just ones I got on. If right you here. can hurry up, you can show oh, those quick. Yeah, oh, the other ones are way back there. What's by your feet there? Well, those are the games that you, for you. I don't know, I see South Park. Matt yeah. got a bunch of South Park. Oh yeah, Park. I got some South Park. DVDs. Some South, 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 South Park DVD. South Park, South South Park, Park DVD. South Park season seven and five. How come you didn't get nine? Oh, I think I did. It was a white one. 13, I, got th I didn't see there was, there was one in the white Oh, shouldn't I might have got that one too. Do you I, just swear on my video? No, I said I think, shoot, I think I said. <laughs> oh, my ASMR, sorry. sorry. But I got these for Don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to the children. Sense of our peace. Apologize to the children. Sorry. Thing. Sorry, children. I think I let a swear go in one or two videos. <laughs> I hadn't sworn on my channel in probably like six years. Yeah. But these I, were 50 cents a piece. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're having a great day. I love these days where, you know, before 8.30, we already had a trunk load of stuff. I've mentioned this before, but I can kind of just relax. And everything I find from here on out is just kind of a bonus. So. Ted, did you get anything yet? You found it? Yeah, and the, that's the only two games I got left. Oh, it's a DS, okay. Yeah, it's a DS. Not quite as old as we're looking for. No. We're looking for the real old stuff. Yeah, I've had that for quite some time. Yeah. Too. Yeah, well, yeah. thanks for pulling it out. I don't need another one of those, All but right. thank you so much. You're welcome. You too. Oh, look what was hidden under here, Matt. Oh, that I don't have that. Hold that. Lots of John Denver. Joel, what you Houston I have. Lots of Doobie Brothers. Krista Burr, Spanish Train, remember? Yeah. Oh, I just got America. Check me, though. Mangioni. Mangioni. Chuck me old. Say it again? Chuck me old. Oh, nailed it. Is there a controller in there? No. Oh, I think I have the controller downstairs. Okay, yeah, and there should be there should be a power brick. That's a memory card. There should be a one with a brick and then the cord on the end and then the controller. Let me just go see. Okay. okay. I'll I'll put it in there for it's you. It's like brand new. I'll put it in. And then, yeah, if there's any other games you find. Okay. Do we have GameCube box? This could be a nice find, Ted. Okay, uh, this sale right here, some nice older ladies asked if they had games, saw this one lone GameCube game, which I actually need sitting on the table, NCAA Football 2003. Asked if she had more games, and she said, no, I have a... She said Game Boy at first or something. Mm. The handheld or she something. She said she had a cube. No, like but a... that's after. After mm -hmm. then, she said, yeah, the cube. So I was like, oh, GameCube. Mm -hmm. So she went in and got it. The GameCube looks to be in good condition. It's actually... Here's how Matt's showing it. Here's for the box. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, so... Sorry. Silver GameCube. Sorry. Matching controller, and then an extra... Mm. Kind of beat up black mm. controller. I don't even know. I can clean that up, but it's pretty beat um in a game 50 bucks mm. eh. i didn't want to pay that much but mm. it's okay still, still a good deal it's been a great that day it is a good deal all right we're dropping matt off thanks go check out his instagram you, you yeah. look at what he's noticed something guys he's trying to steal my money <laughs> he's got my money belt <laughs> oh, on there so thief classic matt move sorry, sorry. Thief. trying to take my money i didn't mean to sorry. so matt's getting a haircut yeah he's getting cornrows <laughs> Yeah. I'm not getting cornrows. Cornrows. Oh boy. Come on All right, Matt. Have bye. a good day. Another bye, successful guys. day. Let's yeah, bye, let's guys. see what we find after dropping Matt off today. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. V cord. I do have that, but if I'm not selling the sixty, like if got it. You're using it for yeah. the sixty-four. Okay. I, do you already have something like that? Um, I have this. Yes, I can figure that out. Don't worry. Yeah, bring out what you have, and I'll make you an offer, and just go from there. 
He loves belly rubs. <laughs> yeah, we only got him uh, about a week ago. And he's been great. I say like 80% of the time he's wonderful. The other 20% he's a puppy. Yep, yep, yep. How am I? Sorry? Is he fine? No, he's been good. Like he'll whine a little bit if he's got to go out. He, I already taught him how to sit. He's sitting, which is good. Wow. If I have food. If you have food. <laughs> I don't know if he'll listen to me. He, um, keep an eye, Andrew. He might have to go for a poo. <laughs> keep an eye on that little bum. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Couple. Um, another three games. For okay. Um, does it have the cord for for that one? Yeah, it does. But it works for both. But the power cord, though. Oh. Right. I do need to find that. I I think we have it. Yeah. I just need to look through. We have a bunch of cables. Yeah, that'd be a big one. Um. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, if you look over this, I'm gonna okay. Try and find Perfect. That Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna give you whatever I got left here. How about 125? You know what? Sure. Sound good? Okay. Yeah. I appreciate you pulling it out and. How's your name? Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we went to a sale. Wonderful grandmother. Um, asked if they had games. She mentioned that her grandson had some stuff downstairs. He was at a baseball tournament. Almost got Granny to pull it up and bring it upstairs very close. I even said, Can I, you know, can I give you a hand? She's like, Oh, it's a pretty big mess in there. I was like, Okay, I, you know, I always try and push, but not, not push too hard. You got to kind of straddle that line, or else people just say, No, I can't get at it, and that'll be the end of it, and you'll find nothing. So she was nice enough. She called up her grandson, no problem, got the grandson on the phone. I just said, Hey, I thought I was talking to a man like my age. It was a 14 year old boy. Uh, I was like, Hey, if you know, if you're willing to bring it out, uh, what you have, I can make you an offer. Um, so when I went there this time, I think I caught it on camera. He initially brought out a Super Nintendo with a couple games. We'll go through exactly what's there unless you already saw it on camera. Um, and then he was reluctant to bring out the N64. And I said, once you get him to bring it out, um, you know, bring out the N64. And I said, if I'll, I'll make you an offer. And if you still want to hold on to it, then totally fine. So um, had this stuff on the table, started at 80 bucks. I thought, you know, that was a decent starting point. Um, and then I offered, I pulled out whatever I had. I said, you know what? I'll give you whatever I have. I said it was one, 120, 125. So got it all for 125 bucks. Forrest and Andrew are now in the car. We went home and picked them up. That's uh, that's Forrest. That's the new dog. Rudy's still kicking. Uh, Rudy's still doing great, but um, got another little one for now. Not for now, forever. But Rudy is now 12. So if Rudy's around for another year or two, that's amazing. But eventually, you know, yeah, kind of like transition. So for now, we have two dogs. Yeah. Anyways, fantastic day. Let's head back to the game room. All right, so we're back in the game room. I got to move super quick here. I'm running out of battery. Picked up a couple RC cars. Now, this is a Tamiya Mighty Bull. Now, he said it was pre assembled. At first glance, I was like, ah, oh, it's in not in very good condition, but it is in quite good condition. I can't tell, though, if it's a reissue or original. The thing that's kind of throwing me off here is the radio. This looks like an old radio. So I don't know, hopefully it's original. If this is original, this is probably quite a valuable truck. Um, either way, it's gonna stay in my collection. I just bought a couple Tamiya's and I'm gonna start building them and assembling them myself. Got a couple Tamiya kits to work on. Also Traxxas Slash 16 scale, don't own one of these and I'm pretty happy to have this. I'm gonna actually uh, get this guy up and running. Needs a radio. That's about it. But it's like brand new. 75 bucks for those two is a fantastic deal. Uh, one record pickup. This is Chuck Berry. Found a bunch of records down here. Got a bunch of 45s. 10 bucks for everything. I barely wanted it. Looked at the first two 45s and it was CCR and Rolling Stone. So could be some good stuff in there. I'll have to report back on that. Let's get the water bottle out of here. Just trying to clear some space. Let's go to this one. Um, so this was the deal. Wait, what, what deal was this? The 3DS deal. Didn't end up keeping the 3DS. I showed all the games. Paid 40 bucks for this stack of 3DS games. Pokemon Moon, Super Mario Maker, uh, Sealed, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, um, Mario Kart 7. I'm not going to go through them all. Scribble nuts. Um, decent stuff. Looks to be in great shape. 25 bucks for that. 50 cents for a Pokemon black and white um, strategy guide. This was the bundle of nice Wii stuff. I don't think I, I don't know if I showed this off. 
uh, paid 25 for this as well. Wii Sports, Mario Party 8, Wii Sports Resort, Super Mario Galaxy 2, The Bigs 2, love that game, um, Animal Crossing City Folk, <coughs> uh, Toy Story Mania, I guess I really didn't say much in this video. Uh, Mario Kart Wii, this has been a fantastic start to the garage sale season. I'm um, trying to remember, this is, uh, this is certainly one of the better um, beginnings to a garage sale season that I remember in recent memory. I'm talking like five, six, probably five years, including pandemic and stuff like that. Um, also with those uh, DS and 3DS games, no, that's not true. That was 25. Uh, another 15 bucks is what I paid. No, 20, maybe it might've been 25. I'm forgetting. Check the footage. I, I mess up sometimes with my prices. I think this was 25. We, um, missing a few cords and, um, controllers. And then this huge, uh, bundle of loose DS games. One random, uh, GBA game here. Uh, Teen Titans. Don't think I have that. I wonder if that's actually uncommon. I don't think I have that one. Uh, we got Yoshi's Island DS, Mega Man Advent ZX. I think these games are crazy expensive from what I remember. Mega Man ZX. If this would have been an epic find if uh, they had the cases. Pokemon Black version 2. Uh, Pokemon Ruby. Holy crap. This would have been epic. Mega Man Star Force 2 Striker Ninja something. From what I remember, these games are quite valuable. Uh, Pokemon Moon, we got Hyrule Legends, uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends, uh, Blue Dragon Plus, you guys can't see these, Sonic Rush Adventure, Kingdom Hearts on the 3DS, yeah, I mean, it's a great find for 10 bucks. I ended up paying for it, but, you know, I just keep going back to wishing the manuals were there. Okay. Okay, so quick update. Um, I took a bunch of those loose DS games that I got. I didn't even take the 3DS games. Um, that $10 lot, $10 lot of loose DS and 3DS games. I took them in. I had probably another four or five loose DS games around the house. Took them all in with four Wii remotes. I have Wii remotes coming out of my ears and I got, what was it, total? Oh, three, three hundred and twenty something dollars credit. Um, so I thought I'd show you some of the things that I just got here. Look at Matt already. Oh, fuck. Claw <laughs> hands there. Um, Zelda and Chill. This is pretty cool. Um, kind of remixed uh, music from across. I'm trying to, I think it's multiple Zeldas. It might not. Yeah, I think it's multiple. I've heard this before. I tried to order on Amazon, but they canceled my pre-order. So happy to get that. A um, couple uh, Genesis games complete that I needed. Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Uh, Zool on the Game Boy. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 was on sale for 30 bucks. That's the right price for me. Uh, Gadget Twins. Never heard of this game. Not going to lie, that looks pretty darn cool. I'll try that when I get home. Um, awesome Possum. Didn't have that. These are all complete in good condition. And Matt used some of my credit too to get a couple games. Um, yeah, 300 and something dollars credit from that, basically just that one tin of, uh, $280 credit from that one tin of $10 uh, games. There was a bunch of crazy Mega Man uh, drone tactics. I mentioned there's a bunch of rare games in there. What game is gonna work? And they gave me actually great credits. Great, they gave me great credit. So shout out to Microplay and Kitchener. Okay, picked up a boxed and complete Nintendo GameCube, grabbed one game that was there, NCAA Football 2003, I believe I need that, came with two controllers, that was 50 bucks. Okay, let's clear this one out, okay. So went to a sale last day of games, he mentioned N64, ended up having an N64, Super Nintendo, um, got a PS2 Slim, uh, PS1, Tony Hawk's Pro Skaters in there. Um, yeah, all the controllers, all the hookups. So four consoles and a bunch of games here. So we got NW, WCW versus NWO Thunder. Hogs of War, as I mentioned, missing the manual, which sucks. The worst copy of Pokemon Snap you'll ever see. Probably the worst copy of Pilot Wings you'll ever see. Good one here, NBA Hangtime. South Park Rally. 
bust a move to arcade version arcade edition uh pokemon stadium thank god that's in decent shape we got south park nfl quarterback club 99 uh, wwf warzone nolan ryan's baseball the worst copy of street fighter 2 you'll ever see a nice copy of zombies ate my neighbors uh, super mario world a uh, bunch, two first party uh, uh, PS2 controller. Uh. Okay, so I just finished showing off the bundle with the PS1, PS2, Super Nintendo, N64, 150 bucks. Um, and then I mentioned, was about to mention that it also came with these PS2 games, which will end up making this actually quite a good deal. Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Don't believe I have that. The Simpsons, Hit and Run. Still pretty pricey game. Um, I'm not sure about the PS2 actually. God of War, good stuff. They seem to be in good shape. Outlaw Volleyball, of course, no manual, the one I needed. Incredible Hulk, Ultimate Destruction. I think that's the one that everyone loves. Can't remember if I have it. Marvel Superhero Squad. Snickle for sports games. Um, Smackdown, Shut Your Mouth. <coughs> we got Hot Shots Golf 3. Cabela's Outdoor Adventures. X-Men Legends 2, Rise of Apocalypse, Final Fantasy X, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Manhunt, good game, don't know what, uh, that's probably like a $20 game I would assume, <coughs> and then Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life Special Edition, seems to be in really nice condition as well. Um, loose Tony Hawk in the system in the PS1. That's everything from that deal. So 150 bucks, fantastic deal there. Okay, on to the big deal. This is the big deal for the end of the day. Did I show these? I don't know if I showed them. Bubble Ball for the NES, Super Double Dragon, <coughs> Pack Attack, and Wario's Woods. I think I might need Pack Attack, so that's pretty cool. The $15 DS bundle with the Kirby Mass Attack loose in there. What a day for loose DS and 3DS games. Okay, so the last one, I came to a sale. There was a grandma there, asked if they had video games. She mentioned that her grandson had some old stuff. Um, she was nice enough to give him a call. I, I do the thing, oh my, so, so my, my grandson has some, but he's not here. Um, would you mind bringing it out and um, I can make you an offer, then we can call your grandson or text your grandson is usually what I say. Um, she did call her grandson. I could hear him on the phone say, don't sell the green N64. So I knew he had a N64 jungle green. Um, he said he was gonna be home in an hour. His grandma didn't know where it was to, or how to pull it all out. I, it would be quite a bit for her to be honest. So I totally understand. I tried, I tried real hard. I'm like, do you want, you know, can I give you a hand? So she ended up taking my number. Um, but what I ended up doing was just coming back in an hour. Chances that they're aware that they would never um, call me back. So I just showed up. The grandson ended up bringing out the Super Nintendo. Um, two controllers, all the hookups in good shape. A little discoloration. Four games, Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition. Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, Donkey Kong Country and Tetris Dr. Mario. Um, so he brought that out. He said, yeah, I don't know if I want to sell the N64. I said, well, why don't you just bring it out and I'll make you an offer. And then if you want to hold on to it, then I totally understand. Brought it all out. This is what was there. Jungle Green N64, all the cables, really nice condition. Expansion pack, yellow controller, sticks are good. All the hookups and these three games. Diddy Kong Racing, uh, Donkey Kong 64, and Super Smash Bros. So three decent titles. Um, so I started off at 80 bucks, offered him 80 bucks. He said, oh, I don't know if I can do that. The system alone is probably worth that. And I said, okay, I'll just offer you whatever I have left, which was 125 bucks. So offered it to him and he took it. He was pretty happy with that. So fantastic deal to end the day. What a beginning to the season it's been. This has definitely been one of the better starts to the season. I'm looking at a mountain of video games over there. Um, my basement is just, a mess right now full of games so um yeah it's been absolutely awesome i've been able to bring you guys a video a week i have two backup videos i have a fantastic retro game score i haven't been able to post that i did end up posting day two of 
Last week or the week before is double garage sale day. So we have not had a single rain out day yet. If that were to happen, I've got a backup video for you guys. So there will be a garage sale video every day, every Saturday, once a week for you guys, um, all the way till October. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so. A lot of people are watching this video without subscribing. Uh, please subscribe, really helps the channel. And if you are for whatever reason not seeing my videos, hit the um, bell and then you'll get notified when my videos come up. There's not many, it won't annoy you. Uh, I'll just remind you when uh, it's gonna go live. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and till the next episode. Quick bonus pickups. $2 each, picked up uh, this Clint Eastwood, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Um, really nice shape, Sergio Leone. And then, that was two bucks. And then this uh, casino one with De Niro and Joe Pesci. Pretty cool, really nice condition. Um, maybe I'll find somewhere to put those. I'm running out of room though, so have a good one.